Man, what's really going down? This is the Style Pilot. I'm here today to tell you guys about my five, maybe six, maybe seven, but five essential things that I need every single day. And this is going to be extremely quick because I got somewhere to go. Um, these things to me, some of them are things that I feel like every man should have um, and keep around them. But for me personally, these are things that I have to have all the time with me. Now, this is when I'm not working. I do something that's physical activity uh, where I can't keep some of these things on me. But uh, for the most part, when I'm not working, these are the things that I have on me at all times. And I feel like a lot of men should have these things as well. Um, to me, they're just a no-brainer for me. Number one, a watch. I have an Apple Watch, right? But I feel like every man or every person alive, period, even though your your phone has a watch, and that's an essential thing too, but that's a no like super no brainer. You gotta have a cell phone these days. But a watch, this is my Apple Watch and this is my band. Hey, this is one of my bands. As you know, they're interchangeable. If you wanna know where I got this Apple Watch from, email me. I mean not the watch from, but the band from email me, I give you all the information. But um I just feel like, man, you should always know the time. This also works as a Fitbit, other apps and stuff that they have on here um, for, you know, uh, my bank account, all that stuff, and just alerts, PayPal alerts, all that stuff can come up on this Apple Watch. I'm not saying you have to have an Apple Watch, but I'm saying that every dude should have <laughs> a freaking watch on it because, it, I mean, it shows maturity that you care about time. If you don't care about time, you probably don't care about money, and if you don't care about money, a lot of times you don't care about your livelihood and it just goes deeper and deeper on that. But you got to have a watch. I'm always going to have a watch on my wrist. If I don't have a watch on my wrist, I guarantee you I'm looking for it. I feel completely naked without my watch. The second thing is my wallet. Guys, this is a, uh, I don't know if you can tell, if you can see from the light. But this is a Gucci wallet that I was gifted to by one of my ex-girlfriends, which is awesome. Um, my dumb butt, I, um, <laughs> I washed the wa the wallet. It was more, a little bit more crispier than this, and it was more straight line. The edges weren't bent. You can't tell. You really probably can't tell from, um, let me scoot this, let me scoot my camera back a little bit. You guys probably can't tell from the video, but, um, it used to be a, a little bit better condition until I washed it on accident in a in the back seat of my pants, in the back pocket of my pants, but it's still pretty in good, pretty much in good shape. You know, I keep my my credit cards and all my other information in. And one very important thing that you don't want to keep in your cards is a bunch of cards that you don't need, right? It just wears out your wallet, especially if you have a good wallet. I know you see some guys they can't even put their wallet in their back pocket because they got so much stuff in there. Now you should clean out your wallet every month. And get rid of some receipts and other things that you don't need. Other gift cards or cards, period, that you don't use frequently. A lot of times these cards, like I say, my Tom Thumb reward card or whatever. Like, you don't even really need, I don't even really need this to be in my wallet. But I keep it. I'm probably going to throw it away. But you can just put your cell phone number in for your reward card when you go to Tom Thumb or whatever it might be. I keep my gas card with me. I don't know why I do that either. Because I can do the same thing. But you guys get what I'm saying. You don't want your wallet to be too fat. Um, you got to keep your wallet for your ID and stuff. I have a friend that for the longest he didn't have an ID. He kept losing his IDs and stuff. I'm like, dude, why do you keep losing your ID? Why do you keep losing your money? I was like, bro, do you have a wallet? He's like, no, I don't ever keep a wallet. I'm like, dude, you're like 30 years old. You got to have a wallet. Like, that's one th one of the things I was taught um, by one of my uncles. is like one of my role models. He was like, man, you got to have a wallet. And I've been keeping a wallet on me since I was probably 12 years old. Even though I didn't have any money and stuff in it. You gotta have a wallet, man. It just keeps you together as a man. Um, another thing. My Ray-Ban shades. These were gifted to me as well. But I have a couple other pairs. But guys, shades. Shades are important. They make you look cooler when you're driving in Texas weather. I'm, I live in Texas. If you're driving with a lot of sun in your eyes, man, it just helps you. You know, like you start to age more around your eyes first, right? And from what I've heard, or what I've been told, when you are out in the sun without shades on, it just helps you to wrinkle up and get older in here. So having shades is very important. Let me put these things on because I look pretty cool. Look at that. Yeah. Look at that. 
Yeah, one thing, I, I used to not wear shades because I lose stuff real easy, especially shades. Well, not you stuff, but I lose shades really easy. Um, or I sit on them. I put them in my back pocket, sit on them, and break them. But I've been really careful with these and keeping um, keeping the case with them most of the time. I kind of got used to it. But shades are really important to have when you're driving, when you're out in the sun, period. A quick tip about wearing shades. Two steps into a building where it where there isn't a lot of uh, sunlight. Take them off. That's the gentleman way to do it. You walk in two steps into the building, take them off, put them in your pocket, man. Otherwise, you kind of look like a douche. All right? Um, another thing for me, earbuds. Okay? Earbuds are really important to me. Okay, one, listen to my music. Two, if I don't want to be bothered, I can put it in my, in my ear and I can tune people out. Right? Three, talking on the phone. Like, I don't like holding the phone to my face, one, because of germs, two, it's just, it's a whole lot better and more convenient, and you have less trouble with your cell phone talking to someone when you have earbuds in your ear. Like, I have a pair of Beats, Beats um, headphones, but now I don't even use those anymore because they're just too much to keep up with. I can roll these up, stuff them in my pocket, unfold them, do them whatever. If I want to listen to a podcast, if I want to listen to a, a book... Uh, audio book, if I want to listen to a YouTube video, instead of me playing it out loud like a doofus, which a lot of people still do, I just tuck, chuck these on in my ear, and I'm ready to go. Um, if you got an Apple phone, man, you know you can just click the little button on the side to change songs. You don't have to pull your phone out. You can turn it up and down from there. Um, even in calls, all that stuff. These earbuds, these Apple earbuds, very essential to my life. At this point, at first I had no use for them, but as I got older, these are freaking amazing. And you guys gotta have these earbuds, man. If you, like the headphones, big headphones are not what it is these days. And even with the cord, like I'm gonna give you a trick. Like I don't know if you see some people doing it now, but I took my I took my cord instead of it coming on the outside, I tuck it in here and I put it in my pocket. And if I keep my earbuds, let's say you don't feel like being bothered, you want to go to sleep, or maybe let's say. You, I got I got a buddy. We go on trips and stuff together, or and stuff like that. He might be sleeping in the in the same hotel room. We got you know double beds or whatever, and he snores like a, a hibernating bear. So now, guess what I can do? Instead of me trying to sleep on a pillow with these big beats beats headphones on, I can just tuck these in and I'll be knocked out. No worries. It's not bothering my ears much. And just these are just really essential. I I can go all day about these, but um. With phones and technology, man, these are very, very important. Another thing, too, like you said, looking at Instagram videos and all that stuff. Like, instead of playing your phone out loud, man, just, dude, just tuck your earbuds in. They give you these. And a lot of times, listen, let me give you one more tip. If you go to an Apple store, let's say you're, you're an Apple person. You go to an Apple store right now. If you go in there and ask them, hey, um, you know, I don't have any money for any earbuds. Do you have any earbuds that anybody left in the back? I guarantee you, if you go to the right person, preferably a younger person, they'll go back there and bring out, bring you a pair of these, and it'll be brand new. Because a lot of people leave them. A lot of people don't use them. They get a phone, and they'll be like, hey, here, take these. I'm not going to use it. So that's one little gem I gave you right there. All right. Um, what is the last thing I got? I can't see. Oh, very important. Other than your style, your fit, custom, all that stuff, the number one thing in life as a human being to me is your hygiene, especially if you're a guy that are around women um, and you and you feel like you value uh, what people think about you. It's your hygiene, man. Other than you smelling good, how does your face look and how does your breath smell? I keep peppermints. Or gum on me at all times. If I don't have these two, one of these two things on me, or some candy, like I feel naked, and I'm looking for this. Like I'm trying to get to this. Like the next time I get a break from work or a break from what I'm doing, I'm going to the gas station to get this. Right now, this is like React Mint Two. I think this gum comes out black. Let me look at it. It's weird that it's a black piece of gum. Yeah, it's black. So the gum inside of it is black. People always like see me chewing it. 
Oh, not see me chewing, but when I take it out or whatever, I give them a piece of like, oh, this is black gum, but this is amazing. React Mint 2. Okay. Um. Yeah. Um. Gotta always have something to keep your breath fresh, man. You don't want to be in people's face and be remembered. Hey, look at Bob from marketing. Yeah, with the funky breath. Yeah, I remember him. His breath always smells like poop. You know. Never want to do that. My number six thing that I always keep, as you can see, this is my favorite accessory that I have. Period. It's my bullet bracelet. These these bullets are real. Um, they've been used before. It's a real actual bullet for M sixteen two two three whatever. Okay, it's not hollow. These are real, actual metal bullets that have been used. And this is probably my favorite thing. I'm not going to tell you where I got it from. I don't want anybody else in the world to know <laughs> where I got these from. If you want to know, maybe I, you, I can get you one. You can buy it from me, whatever. But this, this, I mean, I get so many compliments about this. When I saw it online, when I ran into it, and then I actually saw it in person, I thought it was the coolest thing ever, man. And every time I wear it, someone gives me a comment. Oh, man, your bullet, you know, you were in the military. Blah, blah, blah. No, it's just a conversation starter for me. And I always try to wear it when I'm not working. Um, the only thing that sucks about this is I can't go on trips with it um, through TSA because they will be on me <laughs> like a terrorist. So I have to leave this at home. But other than that, other than going to a, a football arena or whatever, or a basketball arena or something like that, I can always wear this. All right. I'm going a little bit close to 12 minutes. I am the style pilot, man. That's pretty much it. And remember, you are the flyest mug on earth. You heard?